With us, the head coach of the Cavaliers, Jamie Klusman, the games keep getting bigger for Klusman's Cavaliers because they keep winning games, a big win on the road against Queens, a season-high point performance, and a freshman comes up, 24 points, 10 rebounds in our first collegiate start. What a better place to start than there, Caitlin Berger. Yeah, I mean, she came out, uh, she stepped up to the plate, stepping into that starting role um, first time in her career. So, you know, it couldn't ask for a better performance. Uh, yeah, she put up points and she got boards, but a lot of people probably don't realize what she did defensively uh, within our game plan, you know, being in gaps, helping off of uh, her player when needed, uh, try to focus on Kalea Hall. So uh, she had a big impact on that as well. Four players in double figures, Nia scored 17, Mackenzie King 14, and KJ 13. A really balanced scoring effort when you needed it, playing a little shorthanded there on the road. Yeah, definitely. We shared the ball extremely well. Uh, I think that's a testament to the spacing that we had offensively. Um, but, you know, we have a lot of players who are very unselfish, sometimes a little too unselfish, but you'd rather have that than to have a selfish player out there. So, you know, we just consistently moved the ball, made the extra pass, and we got a lot of paint touches. So, of course, if you're going to take a higher percentage shots, you're going to put up bigger numbers on the scoreboard. Okay, looking at Lenore Ryan before we get into the Bears and the game, we'll start with the K, uh, the play for K game. Uh, talk to us a little bit about that and what you guys are doing to try to, wait, to raise awareness and funds as well. Yeah, we just want to uh, raise awareness. You know, it affects a, breast cancer affects a lot of people, and you know, it has personally affected you know people within our close knit family. So you know, we just want to continue to strive uh, to reach. Um, the funds necessary to hopefully, you know, eventually get a cure for the disease. So, you know, again, just bringing awareness because, you know, what Kay Yao did for the, the women's sport um, is kind of unmatched. So, you know, it's just a way to pay her back for everything that she's done for the women's game and to have the men's team on board to help, you know, raise awareness too. I think that speaks uh, volumes. So, you know, we're just trying to, to take donations right now. Uh, we have multiple um, ways to access that link through social media, through the athletic website. So, you know, if you're willing to donate to help us reach our goal of $500, we would greatly appreciate it. Okay. In terms of the on the floor play, uh, this may be the biggest game we've played at this point in the season. A win gives you a season series sweep of the Bears. It keeps you there locked into seventh place going down this final stretch of three games. Talk about that and going into this game. Yeah, just like always, it's our biggest game because it's our next game. Um, but LR, they're playing extremely well right now. Um, they have all of their pieces. The first time we played them, they were down a couple players. But, um, you know, I think they're really good. I think they're good from position one through five. Um, our biggest focus is going to be trying to, you know, prevent their bigs from going off on us. Um, you know, their post presence was pretty big in the first meeting that we had. So, um, Hudson, extremely talented player, so I think uh, her matchup is going to be a hard matchup for sure, but, you know, hopefully we can uh, execute the game plan defensively and have help and other players in there helping and not just leaving our post players out to dry to, to try to defend her one-on-one. -on -one. Well, expand on that a little bit if you could, Coach. First meeting, you come out victorious in Hickory as a close game, and she held them to 36% shooting. How do you replicate that going into Wednesday? Uh, just, you know, sticking to the game plan, uh, you know, we want to try to prevent their paint touches. Yeah, I know Hudson went off and, you know, had like 27, 28 points. So she got a lot of paint touches, but we limited their other players from getting those high percentage shots, uh, forced them to take outside shots. Uh, we just have to limit, uh, you know, their, like I said, their paint touches, whether it's with a drive, with a pass. Um, so, you know, if you can keep them out of the paint, I think their percentage goes down. So that's going to be our main focus, um, make them try to beat us from the outside. But with that being said, we have to know personnel because they do have some some really high percentage shooters. So we have to know where they're at at all times, know who we can help off of and who we have to stay locked out on. Not fouling and the importance of that in this game, uh, expand on that if you could. They lead the league in foul shooting, shooting almost 80 percent as a team. Yeah. And I mean, they you know, want to pound the ball inside. So they're going to get to the free throw a lot. Um, and that's another thing we have to contest without fouling because, like you said, they lead the conference in free throw percentage. So, you know, if we can contest a shot, we have to live with those results. Um, you know, we're not going to shut them down. But if we let them live at the free throw line, it'll be a very hard uh, game for us to win. Uh, keys to victory against the Bears. Uh, defending the paint, whether it's with a drive or paint 
uh, with the pass. Uh, we have to, you know, hold them under 40% shooting from the field. And obviously rebounding is always a key for us. Tip off, 530 from the Friar Center. We hope you can make it out. If you can't make it, uh, you can donate to uh, Breast Cancer Awareness through our website. You can also watch the game live on uvawisecavs.com. Thanks, Coach, and good luck. Thank you.